as you can see I have already put it together and I've put um, cardstock on the spine and then I cut cardstock to fit here and I glued on this was about for the spine I think it was about two more than two and a half inches Where's my oops we don't want centimeters yeah it's about two and a half centimeters that I cut for the spine so I'm sorry about that but I'm sure I'll do more <laughs> um, and then we can go through the thing again step by step but as you can see I've already made the holes with an awl um, and I sewed on I sewed it into place so yeah I'm sorry about that as I said but anyway I got to playing a bit with this because I thought well I'm just going to carry on and um, this is a mermaid digi kit I bought online and I photostated it onto coffee dyed paper but it came out a bit dark and it just for me lacked a bit of color so I started playing with it using these now I'm no expert with mixed media I really am not I just do and I'm not an artist or anything so um, I've got tattered angels here and this stuff is old I've had it for ages for years and some of it is even dried up but I love this stuff it dries so quickly and it's got the glitter in it as well and I've got here Caspian Sea and Mermaid which I used on here I will do one page with you so you can see how I did it and then I also use the glimmer glaze the fine glitter paint really really nice again it's gone all thick and and horrible and I've added some water because it is a water-based thing but I don't think I added enough anyway so I just went through some of the journal as I said and started playing and you can I don't know if you can can you see the shine on there from the glimmer uh, paint this one I haven't touched and then I went a little bit crazy on this uh, page and um, again I used the same colors I also used the glimmer mist giving it a good shake to get all that color in there I used no I didn't use that one but I did use this one as well and I, and I did these and it's so easy I mean I just use my fingers and then I just want to show you this page I kind of finished it almost um, I did the same thing with the with the tattered angels glimmer, glimmer paint yeah or glitter paint and then I just stuck some ruched lace on here and this is from an old uh, blouse of mine and it looks like knitting so I stuck it on here and then this is from a charm bracelet and then I did this and I put a little bit on here this is a bit blank there so I will probably do something there as well can you see this one I just added um, uh, this one this is perfect pearls blue smoke I just sprayed it on here and mixed it with my finger you can see they're all funny colors <laughs> so and I did the same thing on here I used the glimmer mist the tattered angels and I put it here and I spread it around with my finger and then I used this one here and it just lifts the whole thing and some of it sprayed onto the next page which is just great so I'm just going to look for one to do I've done a little bit on this one I don't know if you can see that and I've used the perfect pearls in fact I'm going to use some now let's give it a good shake I've already done a little bit on the top and I'm going to just do this is all I do guys I just and I mix it in and then you've got that gorgeous glimmer and it like I said it dries very very fast so I'm still gonna decorate this with lace and stuff but I will do that off camera I already had one that I planned to do with you guys or maybe I'll just do a page just so you can see how I did this because when you stick a pocket like this see how beautiful that looks mm -hmm. okay and um, even here if I put this pocket here and I've used some of the which one is this mermaid how's that <laughs> on here 
I haven't put any pink yet. Because like I say, I just felt it was a bit dull and it needed, needed lifting up. So once I put this here, and probably with a bit more lace or something, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, um, it'll look very nice. So I'm just going to do another little page like that. Where shall I do it? I mean, there's plenty. There's about 62 pages in this journal. I mean, this one, again, just to lift it up. One thing I don't know, I'm going to use this paper, spare papers, whether or not you can actually journal on top. So I'm going to spray it on here. I'm going to spread it like I did. Look at that, it just, it just comes out so nice. And then I'm going to put it aside and let it dry and then I'm going to try writing on it. Because it's all very well making a journal with this stuff and then you can't write over it. See this one is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to use the one colour. Put a little bit there. And you know what, I'm going to use, let me bring this closer, a little bit of this glitter paint. Just a little bit. I'm just using uh, one of these sticks, you know. I had a whole lot, I don't know where they all are. And I'm just gonna, it just gives it a bit more, and I'm just plonking it on. I mean, I'm not doing, I'd actually like to know what you guys think. Do you think it looks weird? Do you think it looks funny? I want it to go in too much. I think a little bit more here. And then, also, you know what I did? Let's just close that. It, to me, it looks beautiful already. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of this yellow glimmer mist. It, no, this is just a color mist. Oh gosh, it's halfway open and I'm just... <laughs> lovely, lovely. I don't mind it going on the cover because some of it went on the cover. Or the inside so I'm gonna put it on there too mm, I like that little look at that actually that worked out well I've got drops there now so oh oh I like that and then I am gonna take my hair dryer nice and warm. Oh, oh, switch that off. Can you see that now? And all I've done is spread it and, and it's given it, I think, a nice effect. And this is not quite dry because it's a bit thicker, but I like the spots there, or the dots or whatever you want to call them. And it's also nice because you know what? It doesn't go through to the next page, like when you're stamping sometimes. So it just, um, Oops, no, I messed it up there. No, that's fine. So you don't have to put gesso, which I did do with these first ones that I tried. And then I thought, no, what, what if I do it without gesso? Now here, there's a little bit of pink there. Again, I'm going to give this stuff a good shake. I want all that fabulous colour at the bottom. Almost. To mix within. Actually, I love it when it goes to the other page. And then, a little bit more. And then my Tattered Angels, the Glimmer Glaze, fine glitter paint, which is as dry as anything. But like I said, I've had this for years. Oh, that's a bit too much, I think. And I'm just gonna, let's just spread it around there. Just like I say, it blends in, adds a bit of colour. 
And that's it, I don't think I'm going to do any more. Or maybe just a little bit up here. You can also add your misting bottle to help spread it. There you go. How about that? I think that looks quite nice. Very simple. And I'm betting you can just zhuzh up any of your pages like this. And then there's something else I've been doing in some of my journals. This again is just the blue, so I'm just going to spray it. You don't have to do every single page. And there, I wanted to drip down a bit. Let's do. I didn't put enough. Let's just. Yeah. Can you see that? I'm using the hairdryer just to move the paint along there. This one anyway. This is also perfect pearls. Let's give it a good shake. Maybe I'm just going to use it along the spine. Oh. Don't know what this is going to do. It's very light. And I'm going to my dryer again. of a boring part watching the paint dry because I just got a little bit more to do Quite nice it just gives it a, a pearly glimmer can you see that I don't know if you can see that on camera so this bit is dry let's see now if I can journal nicely on it yep absolutely yeah so you can journal on top with what is just fabulous <laughs> oh, so this one what else am I going to do? There's plenty to do here. Yeah? Obviously, I'm not going to do it all on camera because you'll be, <coughs> excuse me, bored to tears. But there is just that one thing I wanted to show you that I've been playing with. And that, again, I've had this for ages and ages, the gold leaf. And then I found amongst my stash, I'm going to use some here. There's already a piece there. This that I bought ages ago, gilding adhesive. So I'm not sure. Thin coat and allowed to air dry. Well, we're not gonna let it air dry. I suppose I'll give it a shake. Usually when I use this, I just use the Jezdo, the clear one. You can see how old this is. Huh, where's my paintbrush? You know what? Let's just use the finger, shall we? Let's see how, oh, that's quite good, actually. I'm just putting a bit, but I mean, if you don't have this, really, any glue will do. And then I have, um, I'm supposed to let it air dry. Let me just do this. Yep, it 
it's still tacky, which is great. And this, let's find one. Oh, look, here's a small piece. I'm just going to take that. Why isn't that working? Oh, it's this thing, look. It's not connecting. Oh, I've got another one. Let's take that and stick it down. Oops. Here we go. So I guess you can... Well, it's gilding. So I don't want to place it too close together. Grab another piece. Nope. I like to tear mine into bits and pieces because I don't even know where the sticky is anymore. Oh gosh, now it's sticking to me. <laughs> Fun and games. Let's put that on. Let's put this one. Let's put that there. Yes. Where's my... This is my wet wipe. Let's take it off there. That's not bad, huh? That's not bad. Put a little bit more. Let's have a look. Touch that is it going to no, it's not going to stick to me. And let's put it here. Where else did I put it? That's enough. You know what? I only need a little bit. I don't think, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more glue there. Part will stick down. I can't even remember where I bought that. It was so long ago. That is fabulous. Let's just stick another piece here. Grabbing it, because it's sticky there. Hmm, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Now, I do have my gesso, and I'm going to put the gesso on the top so that it doesn't come off. This is just my mug with water. This is my transparent or clear gesso. I need a lot. Yeah. Normally, I must tell you when I do a journal I do all the pages first and then I sew it in but because this was a tutorial and I wanted to show you how to do the cover and put it in obviously I sewed it in but normally I would do all this before I put it into the actual cover I dulled it a bit, but it still looks nice. And then, of course, I am gonna go. I love this blue glimmer. Let's put some blue glimmer. Now, I don't want to, but mind you, it doesn't matter if it goes on that pad actually, but I'm gonna put my little mat here. And then I'm gonna do a bit of a spray job. Just that. How about that? I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna take my. I think I better dry that first. Let's just dry that. Not bad. 
pop that. And what happens if we do that? We need to put a little bit more just along here. I think this journal is going to be very blingy by the time I've finished with it. And then let's put a bit of pink. of this beautiful this is a stunning color oh. stunning stunning color and I'm just gonna use fingers I need to buy brushes when we have fingers <laughs> I usually wreck all my my brushes because I don't clean them and then they go all hard and horrible How's that looking? I wish you could tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. That's just um, this one. in the background I should have closed my door I've got painters in the house at the moment and now they've started chatting and there we go what if I put just a tad of brown I hope I don't put too much oh that's okay one thing I like about melanin, it's very, very, or oh, is it melanin? Yeah, something. Desktops, they're very easy to clean. I'm gonna leave that. drying the back of the page oops, also helps it to dry quicker so what do you think I mean I'm still going to do something to the page I don't know what but I think it looks quite cool mm -hmm. like I say I'm no artist I haven't a clue oh I think that looks really really nice what do you think and let's say we put I've got this here well this is too big actually to go here now I don't want to cover that I think it looks really nice but what if we put that there this is very soft because I've just like I said I copied it onto uh, bond paper or copy paper so I've got a piece of cardstock here I'm gonna glue it let's push that out of the way and but first let me use my which one is it? This one. This is gathered twigs. I'm just going to distress the edges quickly. Yes. Before I glue it down. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to distress the edge of that page too. going to 
to glue it down because I want it a little bit stiffer I don't like it if it's too soft it makes it too flimsy and you know easily tears in the journal edges in let's put that sort of in the middle more or less yes let's put that down and then I've got one of these scissors Fiskars Arabian I should really wait for this to dry. Let me just quickly. So this tutorial is basically done. Um, I've kind of gone off camera and done a little bit of extra work on it. So I'm just going to show you. This is going to be my cover eventually when I finish it. And um, as you can see, I've started doing some work. And I use that glimmer spray on the inside cover so, I haven't done a lot just just started sort of doing it adding little pockets and um, you see that's for me to get busy with I'm gonna add these pockets in so I, I've put everything inside I love this this shimmer I really do I think it works out quite well just adds another dimension to the journal Here's one of the big tag and obviously I'm going to be working on that and do a little bit extra there. So let me know if you want to work along with me on this journal, finishing it up or whether you just want to see the finished journal at the end of the day. So I won't do any more work on it. Look at this, don't you think this is great? I thought it would turn out quite nice. Um, I just want to show you this Another pocket there this bit that I did with the lace and more lace underneath and this um, which I've taken off a bracelet this charm that I, and it's got the green colors which I thought would kind of match up with that one and this is like a tuck spot there so as you see I will be I've still got a lot of work to do on this, so do let me know if you want me <clears throat> to do this along with you or whether you want to see the finished product. But thanks guys, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.